morning everyone and welcome back to Seth and Rose's homestead. Today we're up early as per usual. We're gonna clean up the banana row is what I'm calling it, banana tree row. And we're gonna continue to clean up the driveway. And by clean up, I mean weeding. Um, if you guys remember when we first moved here and we're working through everything, it was just mud and mud. We brought in the cinder um, Seth did most of it by hand and it's just been a constant maintenance so we're going to weed the driveway we're going to clean up the banana row um, we're going to all these piles of brush that we're clearing and whatnot we're going to into, the... into the side brush besides our little fences that we're building here and so there's going to be a couple of treasures i already know um some things we've planted that um are growing but you wouldn't know it because it was buried under the brush and then i've harvested some bananas or at least i cut a rack down we might cut another one we'll see um we're at least gonna break those down the one because the thing with bananas i, I come to learn once you have your banana rack then that's it, it doesn't do any more. So you break it down, because it's just gonna be a dead tree. So anyway, we might cut down another banana rack. We're definitely gonna cut down some of these, you know, dead, de dead stalks. And then, oh yeah, the couple surprise things that we've planted. Mostly it's just gonna be a, a, a laborious working day out in the yard. Hopefully the weather's nice. Yesterday it was pretty rainy but hopefully it's nice. And I'm glad you guys are joining me for this. Um, I go, we go, as you know, we go through ebbs and flows of having the gumption to film and edit and share our lives. And then other times um, we just don't. So alrighty, let's get to it. We're taking a break. As you can see, we've gotten a lot done, but hand pulling these weeds out of the driveway is backbreaking. Honestly, what isn't backbreaking? <laughs> Everything on this property is backbreaking. Whoo, I'm out of breath, I'm tired, I'm sweaty, and 
I've had to take a couple breaks already, but um, we're gonna enjoy some more of this coffee. And then I think I'm probably gonna eat some breakfast. So we'll see, okay. Welcome back. We are headed back up to the driveway, but we're having a bit of a mid-morning sprinkle. It's kind of raining a little bit. It's not bad, and I can see sun shining through, so I think this is just like a quick passing through kind of cloud. Um, yeah, it's a very mild sprinkle. Anyway, we're gonna get going back up here to the driveway. The thing I've realized now, having spent all morning bent over weed whacking the way I was, not even weed whacking, pulling straight weeds, we're going to have to do something different. <laughs> that it's, I've just let it get out of hand. I've let the driveway get too far out of hand to the point where um, I've made some serious progress, but, and I hope you guys can tell in the video, but I don't know... How much more physically I can keep doing that. Like I might have to redirect and start doing a different project. Like literally knocking down some of these. See? These bananas. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, although I have made some really good progress actually. This does look good. I also want to build that wood fence and I have that other pile. Maybe that's what we'll do. I'll heave these two piles. I'll heave these two piles out of the way. At least that way the piles of um, brush, see? At least that's, you know, and then there's another major one kind of over there, mostly those staghorns. I'll move those. That'll feel more clear. And then I don't just, I'm not going to get back down on my hands and knees to keep um, bent over weed whacking like that. So we're going to heave some piles. <laughs> then probably knock down a couple of um, banana trees and maybe that one the two that I thought we could cut the racks of bananas down the trouble is now that I've looked at them a little more closely they're, they're not ready they're still blooming um, you have to wait till the, the blooms have bloomed and they fruited and then you can bring them down so but there is one that we can that I already did see that little one in the back that one's been dead, so we're going to bring that down. And the other one I just harvested, our special one. Okay, let's get to it. The sprinkle should, this rain should hopefully pass soon. Okay.
as you can tell, I got to going again and I just got to weeding as much as I could, but I'm done. I have to be done for now. And what I've decided, I'm going to do a vinegar and um, soap or baking soda. I'm not quite sure what the mixture is actually, but I'm going to look it up. There's like a natural um, vinegar mix you can use and spray that'll kill the plants off. And that's what I'm going to do. So as you can see behind me, here's our area. We did, we have our bananas. We, I seriously, I don't know if you can tell, I'll go the other side, but I did a lot and I feel really good about what I've accomplished. And then I think once I go back through with that vinegar spray and spray all of this extra, you know, just spread greenery, if I can kill that with a vinegar mix, then I can probably come back through and maybe rake it up. We'll see. done weed weeding because you can only do so much of that I had to take off my pants because it's getting so hot my overalls so now I'm just in my shorts and we're gonna do what I want to do is use these rocks to try to build like a little bit of a lava rock fence so here it goes <laughs> supposed to go, you know?
I've got that there, but maybe I should keep moving some of these that are down in here over there. I think I should. Okay, I'm gonna set you guys down. Let's get back to it. driveway slash banana row project is complete we're done um i think i stopped filming somewhere there towards the end and i mostly because i i was like how much more do you film of this you know and i'm working so hard i'm bored of it already so i can only imagine with you guys anyway that was the day we cleared this driveway I feel quite accomplished. And then you can see, I kinda, there's always gonna be some stuff. There's always gonna be, I've got two extra sidings, a garbage bin, a tote, that metal, like, actually that's a pig trap, dismantled pig trap, almost complete. But you have to have that kind of stuff, I guess. So I just try to put it together. We didn't get to this pile, remember? I wanted to, I really did, but you gotta know your limits. And you know how I know my limit is when I almost get really badly hurt. That's when it's like, okay, you've pushed yourself. And I wasn't filming or paying, clearly, I've been doing my own thing here for a little bit, but I'll show you back on the other side of this pile. What I had found was some busted pallets. So they're in here too. Now, I was moving these logs to try to make a fence here. As you can tell, I've been like making fences. And I slipped and fell and my arm went right through the slats of that pallet up to my wrist, see? So it didn't break anything, but you know, it was really close where it was like, okay, maybe you should like take a break for the rest of the day, you know? Because clearly I'm pushing my limits. So I hope um, you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you enjoyed just watching me work and try to clear this driveway and the maintenance of this place is honestly just as brutal as the bushwhacking to get in here. <laughs> but you know what? I'm just so blessed. And um, I'm just so blessed I get to be here and I get to do this and I'm able-bodied and like, it's a nice day, you know? So thanks for being here. I really do. I love sharing with you guys when I can pull it together to share. Um, I hope you found, or, you know, throughout the video, you got to see some of the secrets that we had, um, secret plants that we had found buried in the bush because, you know, we had, what was it? Pineapple, coconut, a couple coconuts, um, pineapple, avocado. Oh, I don't know if I ever got any footage of this. Okay, last thing, and then I'll let you go. Check down here. See that? That's not a pineapple. That is like ornamental. Not that. This. See? So I don't know. Oh, oh, there was another secret that I forgot to show you. Okay, sorry. Last, last secret. Okay, so over here we were clearing all of this driveway, right? That was in the beginning this morning. But then down in here, look. Oh, careful. It's it. These are those secret pits. Look. What is that? Now, at first I was like, another pineapple? And honestly, it could be. I know we chucked several. We chucked a lot of things over here. But it also doesn't look like pineapple because it's on the tree, kind of. And I think those kind of plants are also called bromelads. Bromelade? You don't follow me for advice. <laughs> you just, uh, so who knows what that is. But it's a secret plant that's growing. So coconuts, we got bananas, we got 
avocado. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. And um, I'm going to call it a day. Go take a nice shower and eat a steak dinner. And I'll see you guys next time. Okay, bye.